Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I have the cutest story for you today to tell. So if you like to drill together with me, let's do it. And I'm gonna tell you a story of my night visitor. If you are friend with me on Facebook, you probably saw pictures I posted. But if not, that's gonna be fun, fun time we're gonna have today. Uh, but first, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna work today on. it. I posted on my group yesterday picture that I'm making. Okay, hold on, let me zoom out. The other way. So, Virgin Mary and a baby Jesus. Here's the closed up picture if you can see how it's gonna look so I started a um, little bit day before yesterday and mostly I I did a lot yesterday so today I'm gonna be finishing this 100% so I thought well let's do it together and I'm gonna tell you a story so I got a two of this and originally I wanted to keep this from diamond painting for my uh, girls room but and the second one I will take it with me on my trip for my little sister and she will try her diamond painting for the first time they never even heard about this stuff so that's gonna be interesting and yeah so I'm gonna give this to my mom she will appreciate and I know she's gonna be going to bed sleep and she's gonna pray on this picture it's gonna be framed nicely okay so let's see what we're gonna do we're gonna do I'm gonna zoom <clears throat> let me just set the camera and I'm gonna use my protective sheet to place my hand I'm gonna use my magnifier uh, glasses and I'm gonna use or okay hold on so I'm gonna use or this pen which I'm gonna place one by one we're not in a rush we want to slowly or I might gonna switch to this one stylist we'll see how it's gonna go <clears throat> so all my beads in the ziplocks and the one I'm working on it I keep separate so I don't mix up or don't forget what number I'm working on it so I'm just I put aside next to me and my tray is ready loaded this beads actually beautiful <clears throat> excuse me and I have my coffee cheers guys <clears throat> in the morning really if I don't drink coffee I'm losing my voice <laughs> and no don't worry I'm not gonna spill coffee on my diamond painting I'm a really careful person okay let's see how far we can get this thing work okay so I'm gonna work let me put camera a little bit down maybe a little bit adjustment guys sorry so anyway about my story um, about a week ago I have a visitor well, let me uh, start a little bit from, you know, one week back. So I have a golden retriever and he's a one years old pup. His name is Buddy. And uh, he wanted to go outside. And it was already dark outside. It was like um, maybe 10 or 11 because we were trying to go to sleep 
so okay hold on so he asked me if I can take him outside I don't know can you see guys good or no come on you focus here okay not too close okay we're gonna keep it this way so he asked me to go outside and usually I always put him on a leash because he don't much listen to me but he listens to my husband and that night I decided well there's nobody gonna be walking outside so I think you know it's safe to just to take him outside with no leash and he's not gonna run away so we went outside and he immediately ran right behind my back and front and start sniffing something like uh, what is that I thought honestly maybe some frog because uh, I have a little bit in the front flower bed and sometimes in the summer I can see uh, little frogs in it I didn't see one this year one year even was little garden snake yucks don't like them so I thought okay maybe frog so I pull him by his collar and all of a sudden I see a cute little face of little baby possum oh my god and I thought okay where is his mother is she behind a truck and gonna attack me or something so I wasn't sure if they would like attack people and bite or not I don't know guys I, that was my first time experience seeing a possum this close and it was a baby and he was like oh my goodness he like he was not bigger than my stylist you know the, the tiny one so I thought okay he is so scared I pulled Doug out I put body in a house so I grabbed some cheesy chips, those uh, like a, not the Cheetos, but the cheesy one or how you call them, cheesy, that's it. So we put three cheesy, this cheesy was almost size as their little possum. So I thought, okay, I'm not sure what he eats, but I know they eat ticks. So I assume my yard never gonna have any ticks if I have this friends around me, right? So we put cheesy and we went in the house and the morning the cheese is gone so I thought okay he liked cheesy so next day I put little lettuce I thought oh, who knows maybe he like vegetables as well right so I put lettuce leaves nope did not like it so first I thought okay maybe they don't like vegetables or they just you know gone run away it's okay like week already passed nobody come over right he's not come over back so last night when i was sitting doing this pictures on the same desk I thought well that would be cute story to tell you guys while I'm diamond painting and as soon as I think of that my puppy all of a sudden start crying like asking outside and it was already oh gosh it was already 11 o'clock we went to bed last, late last night so uh, he started to cry and I thought well that's kind of strange because my son Ivan just took him outside like 20 minutes ago but we bought him a new food and he really liked that food so he ate a lot so I thought okay maybe it's emergency call outside I have to let him out so I put him on a leash because it's late and uh, since I opened front door he ran right after his target and I washed the floors and I left my bucket after outside on the front deck to just like to let mop dry out and he stick his nose right behind the bucket like right on the front of the deck by the door front door so I thought what 
is it? I pull him back, I open, like push a little bit over that um, bucket, and look guys, what I see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't he cute? Oh, I love that little nose. He was stuck right in the corner behind my bucket. And here is me trying to give him some chicken. Oh yeah, I love wild animals. And I thought, well, chicken, they may be like chicken. But this is what's kind of like a garlic chicken stuff with broccoli on the inside so I chopped a little and I'm not sure if he would love it or not but look at this cutie he came back again by himself little tiny in the corner and uh, yeah let's see if I can find the picture on um, on my Facebook I'm gonna go and see if um, I can find you the first my picture I posted about him so he was like scared all the way in a corner so of course I have to save him again and take Poppy right back in the house okay here is guys my first picture look at him I discovered him on the bottom of my deck you know this each track where water coming out of the roof and he, and beginning on my deck wood boards up there so he hide in the corner and Poppy run right to him so we put him cheesy yes we feed our animals even if they wild <laughs> look how cute so I think it's the same guy came to my deck last night so today um, when we went to school with kids I took we went for a walk to school and I thought well that would be funny to give him a name. Okay, is it focusing, guys, or not? So, who remember or did you see movie uh, Ice Age when they have two possums up there, two brothers? They are so hilariously funny. So I thought, well, one of them named Crush. Why don't we call? our visitor a crush oh my god and my my daughter says well how do we know it's a not a girl how do we know who it is well I certainly not gonna figure out any soon if this is boy or girl but at least for fun we can give him a name and give him treats and he will come over okay I have to pull this out guys this bead I just placed has a little speck or hole so I'm gonna take this bead away Ooh, jump out and place the other one so I thought well that would be fun to give our pet name so now his name is Crush and I wonder if he's gonna come today or not he probably terrified and when Poppy tried to attack him but I mean he's just a little pup he just turned one years old and he's like hyper as a little tiny puppy he like to play so much and like he's playing hide and seek with my cat so I think he wants to make a new friend because he's not barking or nothing but that was a funny first time I heard actually a noise that possum was making he was making like a um, that kind of funny funny noise he trying to protect himself by making a noise as to scare puppy away and I I was reaching him with that chicken piece and I thought well what if he's gonna just attack and bite my hand I don't know but as you know before used to people say oh they care rabies and stuff like that no they don't and they people say that I'm gonna switch to my stylist and I say they don't have rabies and they are good because they clean in all those 
you know, they eat in a dead meat if they find dead animal. They um, eat ticks if you have ticks in the grass. So I kind of like to keep them around as I have a puppy running on the yard. You know, I don't want a ticks to have in my grass. So that's my new friend and his name is Crush. So guys, what do you think about my story? And I have one more story to tell you that was kind of going back maybe four years or so. But that's going to be story for next time. Very cute one. And I have some pictures as well to show you. So now my question is before my camera stopped working or whatever. Uh, my question is if you would have a chance to have a, as a pet wild animal which animal would you like to have? Me personally I would love to have as a pet squirrel or a raccoon. Oh my god I love raccoons. First of all those glasses on their face, the little black or white spots whatever it is and they are hilarious. I know they can wash your cell phone in the water because they lo like to do laundry but <laughs> aren't they adorable when you see video on YouTube raccoons in a house they are so cute and a squirrel they just awesome I love that furry tail and I always looking like we have lots of squirrels uh, around neighborhood and last year we had squirrels under our roof and they were like four babies actually they make a nest up there which my husband didn't like the idea and he blocked entrance to the roof so they don't damage house but I mean me I love any animals except the snakes though I don't like snakes um, so yeah, which animal would you have as a pet, wild animal? But be reasonable, not like, you know, tiger or panther, because that's just kind of a little bit too wild, but something that, you know, there could be some uh, animals that lost their parents, like, you know, little tiny creatures. Like, for example, one time... <clears throat> A little robin bird fall in my pool and the pool already was uh, it was a fall time the pool was already drained out and there's a little bit water left on the bottom and we came home and I hear some noises and little bird up there struggling to to get out so I didn't know it it was looks like a you know not full grown up probably was just learning how to fly so we we brought the bird inside the house, warm up, dry out feathers, and I thought it will stay with us for the night, but it was trying to scream, calling for a mother, uh, and it was dry, start to kind of fly a little bit. So we took on a backyard, put on a fence, and hopefully it will reunite with mother. But that was kind of story. I like to save animals. Okay, so I hope you like my story, guys. And now, if you like to stick around more, we can talk about something else. So, I want to thank you, everybody, first of all. I have right now 964 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. We are so close to our giveaway. So if you are new to my channel and you think and subscribe, please do so because with 1000 subscribers I will have a giveaways and I love to give some goodies away so don't miss it out. We're going to have some fun and I guys will miss you. Well, my trip to Europe got a little bit prolonged because I cannot believe it. all the tickets were sold out for days and the sooner I we got it 12th of July 
so I'm gonna be here for a while with you yet and I thought well probably to the time when I come back from home from my trip I'm gonna have thousand subscribers but the way you guys love me and support me I'm gonna have thousand subscribers way before I even go so that's very exciting to me and I'm so happy like a little kid in a candy store like I said every new subscribers make me so happy and I love the way you guys give me some suggestions you comment and uh, I love to chat I hope I answer to everybody if not that uh, sorry if I missed some of your questions but I definitely usually go back and see if I comment on everyone or not so yes we're gonna have a big party soon and when I come back I will be ordering in bulk lots of diamond paintings that you can purchase from me I'm still looking for something very very special I'm still searching and I've received some files today to look some more paintings but I cannot open them yet I need some kind of different file to try to open catalog to see what the other person have so yes okay so I'm just gonna drill a little bit more and I will show you later the full project and here is my Virgin Mary with baby. Okay. She's beautiful. This is she. And this bees you can see right now probably. I'm sitting by the window and the lights but when sun hit later my window it sparkles so beautiful these beads are really good on this painting and I know I have unboxing video where I unbox this painting right now I cannot remember which store that was but I, I do have unboxing video for this one and some other ones I think I unboxed like six or something that day not sure so if you're interested you can go look through my videos but I'm gonna work right now on this one and you guys have a good day everybody and I hope you like my story and uh, let me know which animal which animal would be your favorite from wild ones to have as a pet okay guys I love you all have a good diamond painting day crafty day and i see you in my next video bye bye